only on two. She used to head the city's Civilian Office of Police Accountability, or COPA. Now, Sharon Fairley is sitting down with our Sabrina Franza to talk about the death of Dexter Reed. Reed was shot and killed by police on March 21st during what police say was a traffic stop made because he was not wearing a seatbelt. Now, as the investigation into the shooting continues, we're asking what happens next. But they don't get a pass if, it, if, if the evidence shows that uh, Mr. Reed did fire first. That doesn't mean like game over. You know, we, we stop there. Sharon Fairley, the former head of the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, but now a professor of law at the University of Chicago. Literally each bullet that was fired has to be justified. Police fired 96 shots in 41 seconds. COPA says it appears Dexter Reed fired first. On Tuesday, they released dozens of videos involving the traffic stop turned fatal shooting of Reed. A 26 year old man police say wasn't wearing his seatbelt. A five person tactical team in plain clothes pulled him over. Well, if they see someone make a traffic violation, right, they can stop that car even if the real reason that they want to stop that car is for something entirely different. COPA added that officers didn't know anything about Reed's history when they pulled him over. Reed had tinted windows in his car. Now COPA is looking into how police saw he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. If the officers claim that the justification for the stop uh, was a seatbelt violation, and then the evidence shows that it's not really possible that they could have seen that, that means that they weren't being truthful. And, and that's also uh, obviously that that's a serious rule violation. The rounds and rounds that Chicago police fired are something they'll be asking officers to explain. We know that they're going to be speaking to the officers involved this week. After that, then what? Part of the analysis will be each of those individual officers has to justify why they discharge their weapon from their own vantage point. Chicago police can use deadly force until a threat is eliminated. When there is no longer a threat, the force must stop. CBS2 obtained this letter from the current chief administrator at COPA. It's addressed to Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snelling, and in it, it suggests that Chicago police should relieve the officers involved of their police powers while this investigation continues. We asked Fairly about this, and she says it seems to suggest that COPA might believe the officers might have said incorrect statements while they were explaining the reason for that traffic stop. We asked Chicago police if they meant to take any action in regards to this letter, and they would only tell us that they're waiting for the investigation to conclude. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.